I'm Doug Imbo with the Lewis Winch Company. We're out here in a gravel pit and we've got a great big rock down over this embankment and we're going to run our Lewis Winch cable down there and pull it up. But of course every winch has to have an anchor point and over here there's not an anchor in sight. We don't have a tree, we don't have a big rock, we've got nothing on this side at all that's strong enough to anchor to pull that big rock up over there. But we have a new product out, it's the Lewis Winch ground anchor. Now this ground anchor will embed itself right into the gravel and that'll provide enough of an anchor point to pull that big rock up. We're going to show you that in a minute. Well, we, the way this works is it works using a Lewis Wentz trailer hitch mount, which many of our customers already have. Now, this is a trailer hitch mount that goes into a two-inch receiver on any vehicle and acts as an anchor for our Lewis Wentz. We simply take that and slide it into our Lewis Wentz ground anchor and pick a hole, depending on the, on the soil conditions, put in the pin, embed this into the ground, put the, anchor, put the winch on top of that, and we've got our anchor, and that's going to pull up our rock. So we're going to do that for you right now. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to embed our anchor into the ground a little bit until it's solid enough that we can pick the lowest winch and put it up on top. And once it's solid and it's in place, then the pole itself is going to embed the anchor even deeper in. Now we've also provided a pound point on the back of this and a nice sharp point on the front, so should you need to pound it into the ground, we can do that too. So let's just see how tough the ground is. I'm going to try pushing it in. Okay, watch your ears because I'm going to give it a few hits and really set it in place. Okay, now that that's in place, put the Lewis winch on top. Very simple, bracket on the bottom, drops into the slot, slides forward, and our Lewis winch is in place. Now what we'll do is we'll disconnect the clutch, leave a little bit of tension on the brake so we don't get a bird's nest when we spool it out, and we'll hook it onto our rock, we'll come back and pull the rock up the hill. Disinclates the clutch, a little less break, ready to go hook up. Now I've already got a, the tree saver belt wrapped around our rock down here. Hook the Lewis winch safety hook on, and I've got a board just on the edge of the cliff so that the cable rides on the board and not into the dirt. Now we're ready to go back, start up our saw, pull this rock up. Now the first thing we have to do is re the clutch on the Lewis winch. Decompression on the saw, turn on the switch. Now we'll fire up the saw, and what I'll do is I'll take up the slack, and I'll bump the throttle ahead, well, I have my foot on the back of the ground anchor and just guide it into the ground and when it's got enough force, it's going to pull that rock up. And as you can see, we had no trouble pulling this big rock up using the Lewis winch and the Lewis winch ground anchor. That's how the Lewis winch does that. <laughs> 